So dumbing down. One of the things that I noticed when I was writing Cuxervative, and we, we address this, is the way that immigration has to dumb down almost any destination country. The destination countries tend to be more intelligent on average. The median IQs are higher. Why is this the case? Because people want to live in nicer places and when you have a higher average IQ, you tend to have nicer, more functional societies. And so it's, um, it's one of the most, a number of folks have done a study on this and they did a, um, they figured out that the single most important determinant of what a society is, is, is like is its average intelligence. It's not based on the geniuses. It's not based on the, you know, uh, smartest people. It's based on the overall level. Why? Because most functionality has to be implemented by people who are everyday workers. And so when you are, when you are talking to people who are just performing everyday functions, they need to be able to do it. They need to be able to measure the electricity. They need to be able to fix the dryers. They need to be able to um, assist each others in the functioning of the different tasks that the division of labor has assigned them to. And so when you lower that average IQ, you lower the ability to function. And so if you simply check out the changing demographics of American IQ, if you, sim if you just look at the average IQs of the countries where these people are coming from, you can see that since 1950, the average IQ of the United States has dropped at least five points on that basis alone. And that's compounded by two other factors. The other factor is we have set up, since 1950, we have set up a system that doubles the number of women in the workforce, and most of them are young women that would have been wives and mothers. Now, instead of that, they are going into higher education, they are going into the, the workplace, they're having fewer children, they're less likely to get married, and they are also, uh, let's see, they're also less likely to uh, have children at all. And the more that a woman is educated, the more intelligent she is, the less likely she is to have any children at all. So what we have set up is the exact opposite of eugenics. We've literally set up a dysgenic society. I would go so far to say that it is actually a dis-civilizational society. And this is a complete disaster. This is what they were talking about in the movie Idiocracy. So there is nothing more damaging to a society than a woman who goes off to university, gets a degree, gets a job, doesn't get married, doesn't have kids. That is always going to tend to lower the average IQ of society.